Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, what you see right here is the uh, FarmerTech Holtz Formula G660. This is actually a brand new saw. Um, the bar that's on it is uh, a bar that we've been using on the G44 that we're breaking in. We haven't broke this saw in yet, uh, but I just want to show you what the 660 can do. We've got a log here. It's uh, somewhere around 30 inches, I think. Um, we've got a 36 inch bar that we, we've got on that 660, and we're going to show you how this 660 can cut big, hard wood. Um, if you don't know anything about the 660, there's lots and lots of videos out there. This is just ours. Um, but um, we're going to show you what a 92cc FarmerTech G660 can do. Um, this is a hardwood. I'm not sure what it is. All the bark's gone on it. I do know that it is a hardwood. But uh, with this six and a half, between six and a half, seven horsepower saw, um, it should cut it pretty good. It is on its first tank of 40 to 1, so I might have to tune it in a little bit. Uh, this saw can pull up to a 48 inch bar, I believe. Um, we're going to figure out what it can do with a 48 inch bar eventually. We, we initially bought these saws just to use for chainsaw milling uh, for remote areas like this. This is at the back of our property and we didn't want to cut down a huge tree just to show you what this saw would do. We knew this tree was back here and it luckily volunteered to be part of this video and uh, we will make sure and oblige it for doing that. Now the saw should do pretty well. Uh, we'll find out. We've used it for bucking trees so far um, and they've been up to 30 inches. But as far as a dry, this is probably a really dry hardwood or drier than most. Uh, dry wood is harder to cut because of lack of lubrication in the actual wood itself. But uh, like I said, we're going to see what it can do. I uh, hope you enjoy the video, and for all of our new subscribers, thanks. We really appreciate that. For all the people that have been watching from Facebook and coming over and subscribing, just viewing the videos, we really appreciate that. We are trying to grow the channel. Uh, I think we are going to have a giveaway when we simply get to 100 subscribers. I think we're somewhere around 40-something right now. But uh, we are going to give away probably this T-shirt, which has our channel name on it, Cornucopia Farmstead. And this is actually part of our, uh, our farming business that we have where we sell our vegetables. Um, on the back of the shirt, you can see it has Georgia Grown on it. Um, that is part of an affiliation we are with here in Georgia. And uh, that is something that um, you have to get a, a certification with them to be able to do that for your vegetables and fruits and things like that. And uh, But anyway, we're planning on giving this shirt away when we get to 100 subscribers. And uh, eventually, I think, when we get to uh, 500, we'll be giving away this hat that I'm wearing also. But uh, again, thanks for all our new subscribers. Thanks for all of our original subscribers. We really appreciate y'all watching. Um, and uh, we want to pay it forward a little bit, at least as much as we can. But uh, let's see what these saws will do. Thanks.
for uh, our 660 cuts and keep in mind again this is a very dry piece of wood it is a little moist but it's not very moist at all uh, it is super dry this thing's been down for probably 10 years I don't know it was a long time the bar we used was a hard nose bar on the G660 it's a 36 inch bar with the dogs on it it has an effective cut length of 32 inches so we're going to measure the diameter of this and it looks like we're on the short side of the tree but um, this is about the widest part of it right here and it measures 24 inches um, but as you can tell it's still a really big piece of wood it did in my in my mind it did a very good job of it considering um, it's very dry very big piece of wood as you can tell uh, it's very dense you can see by the rings in it very 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 dense very very tight rings on it very little fat wood on it of course because it's been laying down for a long time but uh, it, it's hard to beat these saws for for the for the cost of them for the power that they make the build quality that they are they are very 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 good in my eyes uh, I've, I've never been more pleasantly surprised than now but uh, this right here will show you um, if, if you need or you have a big tree like this down the yard you can pay somebody eighty dollars for the first 12 inches of tree and I think it's anywhere from sixty dollars per inch after that in the tree removal job um, that's about average I think uh, you can get somebody that's not insured and it's probably going to be least uh, less than that now, you can do it yourself and it's a lot easier to have a homeowner's claim if you have the accident but if you have somebody that's not insured and they cut well that's on you and that's probably going to cost you a lot more but um, if, if you've got somebody that's a weekend warrior or somebody that has the know-how and they maybe need the tool Farmer Tech and Holtz Forma make it pretty easy for you to do this right here especially if it's an even bigger tree but uh, we appreciate you guys for um, for tuning into the channel and of course we appreciate the new subscribers uh, if you want to learn how to do stuff like this uh, we can help you out with that uh, and we really really like our farmer tech saws but, uh, thanks for watching and uh, tune in please give us a thumbs up like and subscribe the videos and share them with your friends and social media thanks we'll see you